Hello there, class. This is Professor Olson. I am going to walk you through the syllabus for Sociology 125. I always feel like it's best for me to um, walk you through the syllabus so it's, it's just not, it's, it's more of a living document. And I read it off and go over it with you step by step so that you feel really comfortable starting class. I don't want to just plunk a document on there and then have you go at it. So uh, let's start at the top. This is Sociology 125, which is Sociology of Marriage and Family. This is the syllabus and the agenda. What that means is the agenda is the plan, um, step by step what we will be doing. Um, and uh, this is for Modesto Junior College. I do teach at a couple other colleges. So uh, I'm Professor Kurt Olson. You can call me Mr. Olson. You can call me Professor Olson whatever is best for you uh, whatever works for you is always fine with me um, my office is cat 252 which stands for the center of advanced technology um, so advanced technologies that's where my office is it's uh, upstairs 252 that's my email uh, that's my uh, phone number up there um, and then my email is down below i would not recommend focusing on that phone number, I get back way quicker on emails, okay? So make sure that you uh, email me if you need me. Um, I'm usually very, very good about getting back to emails, not so fast with phone messages, but very fast with emails. My office hours are via Skype. Kurt Nils one is my handle. That's all on the module, Canvas module page. Monday 5 to 7.30 and Tuesday 9 to 11.30. This is for the working folks and this is for um, just another day for students if, um, if you're not working. This is for fall 2019. This is an online course. Um, my grading policy is, is as follows. You can see that it's pretty liberal here. 100% to 87.5% is a A, is an A. Um, and B's and C's and D's uh, correspond to that. Um, F's are flat out 59.99% below is just an F. Um, but I do that because MJC does not have pluses and minuses, and I don't think that's accurate. Um, a B plus is better than a B, and there's no grade better than a B that I could give you than an A, so that's why I go 87.5 and above is an A. Um, I do think there's a huge difference between a 90 and a, and, a, and a 100, and I wish we could give A pluses and A minuses and B pluses and B minuses, but we're just not there yet. So um, here's a very, very important thing. You will be dropped per state and school law if you do not hand in some assignment during the first week. I need you to do that. Um, I'll put a due date on the syllabus. Um, that you need to get get syllabus quiz rather that you need to, to get that in by. Um, that's how I take role is by seeing who has at least logged into class and read the directions and read the module instructions and um, I know that you have the information um, and so that's that helps because one of the things that you don't want to be is the student that calls and emails about information that has already been covered and the reason for that is not because i'm not wanting to help you i certainly want to help everybody but it's there's a twofold reason one is because you should be reading and taking directions in when you're in college this is something that you should be good at by now otherwise working won't be so good for you and life is going to be tough more difficult as well if you can't read the directions and follow them, right? Um, and remember them and refer back to them if you forget. Those are skills that you want from a worker in the workplace. Um, so that's the first reason. The second reason is you're taking time away from me helping somebody else who has an academic question uh, and then me saying, oh yeah, um, the last week of class is here or there or whatever. I mean, yeah, the last week of class emailing me asked me what the last week of class is is really really poor form as a student um you can you should know first of all when the last week of class is and you should be checking your 
um, schedule. You can you have just as much information as I do um, about when the last week of class is. Okay, um, so don't wear me out with questions like that and um, take away from other students. And then also it's just poor form. It does not show that you were really um, actively engaged in the class. Um, okay, um, the syllabus quiz is worth 10 points. It's due at the beginning of the course or you will be dropped. I have to do that. Once we pass that, things are pretty wide open. Um, the the uh, Community Quest um, game is 200 points. There's eight episodes for 25 points each. The sociolog worksheet that accompanies the game is 200 points, eight responses, 25 points each. The midterm peer review is 90 points. Um, the final will be open the last week of the term. Okay, and again, you have access to knowing when that is. It's 200 points. The video worksheet is 20 points. It's extra credit. All work is, is due at the end of the term unless un otherwise noted. And you can see due dates on your Canvas shell it will tell you when the due dates are the community quest adventure game is only available at the pirate bookstore so you're not going to find it on amazon you're not going to find it anywhere else you have to get that game on uh, at the pirate bookstore and you have to get your own authentication key or you won't you won't get credit or there's no going around that you can't borrow someone else's game right each authentication key is is tracked so um those are the course outlines, uh, outcomes for the course. This is the course description. You can read those at your own time. Um, the, the modules, all modules will open up one time, one at a time in sequence. That is one, one uh, once one module is completed, the next one will open. So once you complete module one, module two will open. And these modules are on Canvas. We split things up by modules and not weeks um, just because you know it, it just you can go this way you can go at your own progression they won't just open up once a week i don't believe in doing that so um students are strongly encouraged to keep up on a weekly basis the best performance happens when students keep up weekly note students who did not log in and complete work will be dropped at the end of week one i will send out emails prior to dropping students this is to make room for students who wish to add the class with the intent of doing their coursework okay so if you don't intend to do this you're going to get dropped quick uh, this is the course agenda, the introduction week, age and the elderly, staying relevant. And this is when you should be done with episode one, right? So then the next, and, and you'll find chapter 14 on Canvas. Okay, it's, it's uploaded to Canvas. The chapter is a PDF file and each module has the corresponding chapter uploaded to it, all right? So each module has the chapter to read, Okay, and then you play the episode in the game. It's just that easy. Then you go on to the next one. Chapter to read, play the episode in the game. And I highly recommend answering the log questions as you go. Don't play the whole game and then try to go back and answer the log questions because it's you'll forget about the material. Um, there is a midterm discussion. Um, that is the peer review. Um, the directions for that are going to be very clear. And once we get to module six, you'll see the directions for that. Um, remember, these aren't weeks; these are modules. So as soon as you get to that midterm discussion, go ahead. You're, you know, midway through the class. Module seven, so on and so forth, are all listed in there. Um, module eleven has the final in it, and uh, the final is um, gonna only open on the last week of class. When's the last week of class? You know as well as I do when that is. Okay, so go ahead. And, uh, and I'll put that also on Canvas. There's going to be, uh, the, you know, when the week is on there, it'll, it'll just tell you the dates of when the uh, final will open. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is, uh, you can, this is how you can contact each other. This is how we have contact. This is why I list that just so you know how I'm contacting you, how you're contacting me, and the students are talking to each other, so on and so forth. Okay, so that is your module or your uh, syllabus outline. Um, you can get started and go on to the next page now. And I hope it was helpful for me to walk through the syllabus there for you um, and not just have it as a um, just a, a stagnant document. All right, well, let's get going. Get to work. <laughs>